Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez went toe-to-toe -to -toe for five rounds in an all-out war that headlined this past Saturday's UFC Vegas 42 card. In many people's opinion, it was one of the best fights of the year, and at the end of the five rounds, Holloway was the winner via unanimous decision. Taking to his social media following their fight of the year contender, Holloway praised Rodriguez in his loss, suggesting that one day, Rodriguez will also be a UFC champion. Here are the tweets. Max Holloway said, This is the toughest sport in the world, but for some of us, what happens in the octagon is the easier part of life. Yair is one of those fighters. If you want to understand how Yair does his ninja stuff, look at his team. If you want to understand why, look at his family and the sacrifices they've made together to make it to the octagon. Holloway also posted a photo of him and Yair's family and captioned it by saying, Shout outs to Peral Chihuahua. Love you, brother. Looking forward to your championship reign someday. We should be amigos, probably. Recently, Conor McGregor posted a video of himself shirtless, pacing up and down in front of the TV moments before the Max Holloway vs. Yair Rodriguez fight. Here's the video. Speaking on the DC and RC show, Daniel Cormier reacted to the video and discussed whether Holloway should go after Conor McGregor instead of a trilogy fight with Alexander Volkanovsky. Here's the clip. Conor, he's paced in front of the team. You're not fighting Max Holloway. I understand an envisioning. I understand trying to put yourself in that moment. But dude, Max is getting ready for it. It's, 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 it's just too much at the moment, RC. Because the reality is right now, it's like Connor, for being the biggest star in the game, it's like he keeps attaching himself to these things. And now he's attached himself to Max Holloway because that's a fight. It's a good matchup fight because Max ain't going to be rushing him the whole time. But Holloway, it surprised me a bit, Ryan, that he said McGregor because it felt like he was on a collision course with Volkanovski to get back to the championship. Mm -hmm. But as we have now seen in a couple of occasions... That money fight, man, that draw to the money has become so, 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 uh, so enticing to these guys that they look at Connor and go, that's the guy I want to fight, even if the championship's on the line. And then it brings us right back to the same argument you and I had with us before you turned on the title fight. It's like, where's the value? The cash or the belt? And it seems like right now, Max Holloway might be saying, you know what, man, I had the belt for a while. Yeah. Now I want the money. Conor McGregor recently took some shots at Bilal Muhammad and Anthony Smith while they were in the UFC analyst booth. He posted this video to his Twitter, but has deleted it since. Ah, oh, stop, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Get this off my daddy, man. Speaking on SiriusXM Fight Nation 156, Anthony Smith responded to Conor McGregor's comments and explained why the Irishman is recently going crazy on Twitter and is taking shots at multiple UFC fighters. Here's the clip. This is the second time that Conor's come at me. Um, and this one's not even my fault, which, and I don't give a shit what Conor thinks about me, but I don't know why, this, why he's taken aim at me twice. Um, but as I thought about it, I think I figured it out. Um, 
Connor has been uber, uber successful. He's he's made more money than he could ever spend. Uh, he's made true, like generational wealth. Like his kids, mm -hmm. kids, kids, kids are, are going to be just fine because of the things that Connor's accomplished. What Connor can never get back is he'll never be one of us again. And it drives him absolutely crazy. He used to be. He used to be one of us. Uh, you know, I found myself sitting at the desk wondering, like, does Connor miss what it felt like to be in the gym and just be one of the guys? Because he's alienated himself from everybody. Like, I've, I've been around him a little bit. Like, I don't know him, but like, I've been around him and he was one of the guys. He was, he, and he kind of sold out and, and he started, he starts taking shots at people and, and, and he kind of sold his soul for all that money. And, and that's fine if that's what you want to do. Um, but I think sometimes it's less about him trying to get a headline. I think sometimes it's less about him wanting to take shots at people and be that guy. Uh, I think that it eats him alive, that he's never going to be one of the guys again. They, he'll never fit in in our group. He's not, he's not one of our peers anymore. What do you guys think of these comments from Anthony Smith? Do you agree with them? Let us know in the comments section. John Jones posted a new video to his Instagram where he is seen doing the hang challenge with his teammates. Of course, Jones won the challenge with pretty impressive results. He was able to hang for 114 seconds. This result is pretty impressive for a guy who walks around 260 pounds. Here's the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.